What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we already expected, you know, the Season 5 Reloaded Patch Newts have come out, and it's absolutely nothing insane for the 66 side of things. You know, I told everybody oh, a long time ago that this, you know, bat the patch notes are going to drop, the update's going to come, and everything that we've been begging for, especially when it comes to horrible bugs that have been introduced into this game to be fixed, uh, nothing's going to be prioritized. Warzone DMZ will get all of the good stuff, and then 66 will be left with the scraps. And here we are, I got the patch notes, and of course, 6v6 is indeed left with the scrap. So I want to go ahead and go over all the details. And of course, there's a lot of important things I want to discuss with you guys as well. For example, the new system that they introduced into Modern Warfare 2, which is basically going to be replacing party disbanding. You're going to be able to queue into, you know, this little feature that will allow you to stay with the same people you just versed. Again, a lot of people are seeing this in a positive light, but, you know, I have a lot of questions about this as well. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy the video, leave a like. If you hate the video, leave a dislike. If you want to see more stuff like this, we post every day, 8 in the morning Eastern Time. Subscribe and hit that bell. And, of course, last but not least, we will be testing out more of this midseason event on stream. So if you guys want to check that out, I have links to both my stream channels, Twitch and Kick, and also my other socials like Twitter and Discord down in the description of this video. But I guess to start off here, I think what I really want to go ahead and begin with is the party disbanding feature because I, I think that's just... A, in my personal opinion, mind-boggling. Again, it's a good feature, and it's something that, you know, you can't really complain about being introduced into the game. You know, it's something that we've been begging for. But uh, firstly, why did it take so long for this feature to be introduced into Modern Warfare 2? And second, why not just completely remove party disbanding? Why are we putting in a feature that is just, you know, going to be party disbanding with extra steps? It just seems so out of the ordinary and just so typical Infinity Ward with their ego. They, they can never just simply, you know, remove what they messed up and fix what needs to be fixed. They always have to go ahead and, you know, just tip-tap, tip-tap all around the situation and do things in the most extraordinarily mind-boggling ways before they can just simply, you know, accept the fact that they made a huge boo-boo, a huge mess, and they just need to simply resolve it. Yes, you know, it, it's a cool feature. It's nice that we can finally have a little something something that will allow us to stick into lobbies when we, you know, see opponents that we enjoyed or we want to rematch. Do I think it's going to fix skill based matchmaking since obviously party disbanding is a huge part of why skill based matchmaking is, you know, so thick when it comes to these modern Call of Duty games? I don't really think so. And I feel like a lot of people, unless this feature is just blatantly popping up in your face, which I will be testing out to see what it's all about. I don't know if people are even going to, you know, recognize it, one, and two, if they're even going to, you know, stick it out. I don't know. I, I don't know how well this is going to work. I truthfully just think it's pointless and they just need to remove party disbanding in every way, shape, or form. Just allow parties, or not parties, I'm sorry, just allow the lobbies to stay the same. Don't kick anybody. When they want to leave, they can simply leave, and if they don't want to leave, they'll just reboot right back into the same exact game. Again, it's just so many extra steps. Why not just simply wipe the slate, start fresh? Why do we have to do this you know what i'm saying and the funniest part about this is that that was probably the most positive part of this whole video okay that the new improved or you know party disbanding feature i guess not party disbanding it's the, it's the opposite of party disbanding but whatever it's the new feature that's the best thing that came out of these patch notes when it came to the 6v6 side of things everything else was completely irrelevant maybe the reintroduction of 4v4 face off was a pretty cool thing which i will be playing i will be dabbling in because 4v4 face off is really fun but, of course, the same thing that I have to say, why so long? The same exact thing along with this, you know, party disbanding feature. Why so long? 44 face-off is iconic. Tons of people enjoy it. You don't have to ask anybody in the community if this should be introduced, you know. I guarantee if you just put this right out the gate along with a regular gunfight, people would adore it. You know, everybody loved Black Ops Cold War when you could play 4v4 face-off on the gunfight maps. You know, it was great. So... Why down the road for Season 5 are we seeing this introduced again? I guess it's not bad, but that that's it. Like I said, that is it. That's the positives. Everything else has been ignored. Bugs, ignored. You know, features, ignored. I don't even think there's any brand new fresh game modes that are being introduced, you know? And the craziest part about this whole thing is the fact that the UAV bug is still not fixed. Get this. In Warzone, they fixed the throwing knife bug, where throwing knives, if you have one equipped, you can completely down an enemy with one of them who are completely armored up. So they fixed that bug, which was really obnoxious, right? That is game-changing. Being able to down people with the throwing knife with one hit is insane when you're stacked with full of armor. They fixed that in a heartbeat within one update. And five, six months down the road, they still haven't even bothered with the UAV bug. 
It, it, it's beyond me. It's absolutely beyond me. But they go ahead and they fix that. They, they also fix something in the store, one of the store bundles that wasn't shooting tracers. You know, so, you know, God forbid if someone coughs up money in their store for mic transactions and their bundle doesn't work, that'll be fixed in a heartbeat. But if a core fundamental of the game, a UAV on a mini map, works like an event, like, you know, something as crucial as that, which can completely devastate any team, if you have a good coordinated group of people who are all stacking UAVs with one another, you can devastate people, and it just doesn't matter. It, it's, it's not a problem for them. And I'm assuming this is leaking over to rank. This is leaking over to the rest of the 66 experience. So it's not like it's just in casual. So what the heck is going on here, Infinity Ward? Why can't you guys resolve anything or do anything for the core 6v6 side of stuff? It's just, it, it's, it's a waste of time. To look through these patch notes is a waste of time. It's like I hop on, I look at them, and I'm excited. You know, I'm like, okay, let's see if they're finally going to actually try something. Well, I guess I shouldn't say excited. Maybe earlier on when the game first launches to see if they're actually going to, you know, do anything, communicate. But later down the road, like I just said, I, I wasn't anticipating any fixes. And I guess that's a good thing because with low expectations comes, you know, <laughs> I guess not a lot of uh, despair because... I already knew it was going to happen. They presented the patch notes and it happened. Nothing was here for us. It, it just, it, it sucks to be a 6v6 fan of COD nowadays when 6v6 used to be the main thing about COD. That's used to be the main selling factor of a Call of Duty game. And it's like, if you want to feel any part of community when it comes to COD, you have to play either Warzone or DMZ right now. Because I swear, every one of these patch notes, when I look at both of those, it's tons of good fixes, tons of good things that are, you know, have been listened to, added, new content to play around with. And yeah, of course, you know, we're getting new weapons, whoop de doo an, an, an iconic MP5 is being turned into a burst weapon. Again, we're going to talk about that in the later video. I want to actually unlock it, test it out, see how it is, and we'll make a whole separate, you know, topic about that. But again, you know, th that's our content. We get one new 6v6 map, which I guess isn't shabby i suppose because it is the mid-season event it's not like it's the brand new season dropping it's a mid-season event but still you know compared to what all the other people are getting these weapons are going to go across the board you know it's no exclusive 6v6 content the guns go to dmz the guns go to warzone you know but what about 6v6 specifically nothing nothing right 4v4 face off and this party disbanding feature were the best parts about 6v6 and 4v4 isn't even 6v6 it's going to be played on the gunfight maps so it's not even like it's a 6v6 traditional experience. So when it comes to what 6v6 is all about, yeah, you guessed it. It's been completely neglected once again. They didn't even bother to go ahead and really rework around the meta that's currently going on with the end Modern Warfare 2 either. I mean, the majority of the guns just simply got a buff across the board. A lot of the battle rifles got a freaking buff, and I'm just blown away about that one because to me personally, the battle rifles are absurd. Okay, they're, they're absolutely nasty, and they're very underused, but they're they're crazy weapons that when a really good player uses them, <laughs> you know, they can seriously dominate a lot of one-shot headshots and two shots to the body with pretty, you know, pretty much a lot of the battle rifles and the marksman rifles across the board, if you pick the right one, has a decent fire rate as well, paired with the right attachments, can turn into a demon machine. And they gave them a buff. <laughs> they gave them a freaking buff for damage range. Again, I, I don't know. I really do question if they sit down and they play their game. If they genuinely hop into a casual experience, a ranked experience, if they do anything within the game to even see this stuff. Because if they did, the UAV bug would have been fixed up. The meta would have been long messed around with to add a little bit more variety when it comes to the gunplay within the 6v6 experience. There would have been way more content introduced. You know, more variety when it comes to game modes. Like, for example, that one game mode that added in. That I thought it was pretty cool. I actually made a live gameplay video, you know, actually giving Infinity Ward some props for putting that into 6v6. Uh, why can't we get more stuff like that? Because it's too much stuff across the board. And because of that reason, 6v6 always gets the, the worst end. The worst end of everything. Whether it comes to content, updates, all of the above. But ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I have for you guys. Of course, if you tried out the brand new mid-season event, make sure you go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about it. I'm probably going to be testing it out quite a bit. Again, you can catch my stream, which the link to that is down in the description of this video. We're going to be playing it around 12 to 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, testing out the maps, the weapons, you know, to see if they actually did. Maybe, maybe they had a little stealth update where they fixed the UAV bug. I highly doubt it. But again, we're going to be testing things out to see if we can actually see, you know, if anything has been properly fixed or, of course, if Infinity Ward is just doing their typical 
egotistical stuff. But as always, leave a like if you enjoy, leave a dislike if you hated it. Subscribe, hit that bell so you can get notified on all my uploads we post daily at 8 a.m. And like I said earlier, you can catch my streams. I usually do it over on Kick, but right now we're on Twitch. Regardless, links to both of those are down in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.